you'll need for this hack is a large microwave safe bowl, a large pan. I'm gonna use my caramelized onion season, but you can use like any uh, minced onion, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some Parmesan cheese, artichokes, diced tomatoes with green chilies, some garlic Alfredo sauce, two blocks of Parmesan cheese, I normally don't use this regular shredded cheese. I usually use the Parmesan Romano, but they were out of it at the store. This cheese tastes really good inside of it also. But if you want the restaurant quality, get the Parmesan Romano. And three bags of this steamable spinach. Open and drain your tomatoes. Open and drain your artichokes. And go ahead and get your uh, cream cheese sliced. All right, our spinach has been steaming for a while. It doesn't have to be all the way done. That's why you got this microwave safe bowl. Okay. Go ahead and dump the uh, artichokes in, the uh, caramelized onion here, and however much onion you like, put that in there. Don't put fresh onion, get the minced uh, cayenne pepper. I mean, it's depending on how spicy you like it. It's not really spicy at the restaurant, so I just shake a little. I use some of your Parmesan cheese, whatever your favorite brand is. Tomatoes with chilies, you can get the Rotel brand if you want to. Something special. I chop everything up in my bowl with that. That chops the artichokes up. They're so soft that they'll just fall apart. If you don't like artichokes, you don't have to use them. You can just use just spinach dip, but most restaurants have artichokes in their spinach dip, if you didn't know. If you're wondering what that little lump was that was in there, it was artichokes. If you don't know if your spinach is all the way done or not, if you see how dark it is now, it'll be lighter. After taking the vegetables out of the microwave and the season that I put in a bowl, I usually get a clean styrofoam plate, excuse me, tongue's tied today, press down on that plate and drain it inside of the uh, sink. And that usually gets all the moisture out of there. And as you can see, as I said before, the spinach is lighter now and you know it's done. So after squeezing the life out of that spinach, you wanna stir it up, loosen it up just a little bit. Go ahead and take your entire jar of uh, Alfredo with roasted garlic. Just dump the whole thing in there. Get your Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle a little bit more in there. Stir that up. Get your cheese. Sprinkle as much as you want in there. I'm not gonna sprinkle that much. Just enough to taste. It may look like a lot, but it's a lot of spinach in the bottom of this bowl, so. Get all that cheese stirred up in there. Now you wanna take this cream cheese that you sliced earlier. That's how I sliced mine. Come a little closer so you can see it. That's just sort of melt faster. Go ahead and put it back in the microwave on like five minutes, five to six minutes, just until the cream cheese is all the way melted. And then you're gonna dump it into that big pan. Now, if you're wondering why we have such a big pan, it's because you wanna spread this out thin so that it can dry a little. It, it takes it longer to cook inside of a big pan. I mean, a small pan, pardon. You ready by now? Go ahead and watch the side of the bowl because it's, if it's as hot as mine, because that spinach gets really, really hot. Go ahead and dump that in there. Take your spatula and stir it up just a little bit. If you still see some cream cheese, as long as it's melting, it's fine. Because it will finish up inside the oven. Still kind of stir that up a little bit. A disclaimer, this stuff is freezable. And you wanna set that on the next level up from the bottom. All right. All right, Cravers, I'm gonna rack that bad boy out a little early just so you can see what you're working with. See how good that's looking? Starting to brown around the edges. You want this to get dark before you stir it. 